good morning welcome home welcome back to my channel happy saturday it is the weekend and kind of weird because i spend literally every weekend down at my boyfriend's house i cannot remember the last weekend that i wasn't with him doing something like hanging out at his house um but he is on a boys trip a boys snowboarding skiing trip and so i'm here got the whole weekend to myself pretty excited so i thought that i would film a fun little weekend vlog I am taking this weekend to get all of the things that I need to do done. I got a little latte. Ooh, that's so good. So, the plan. Today is Saturday. I'm going to spend the whole day doing some major deep spring cleaning, going through my whole closet. I'm going through kind of a wardrobe crisis at the moment. I look in my closet every day and I don't actually like any of the things that are in there. And I tend to just wear the exact same outfit every single day because I just, I'm not happy with my closet at the moment. Tomorrow I want to have a little self-care day, pampering self-care day. So that's kind of the plan. I'm just going to take you guys along with me. My room right now is absolute chaos because I'm in the middle of just going through like my desk and my side table and all my drawers and just like it's stressing me out, but I need to get rid of stuff. Okay, so this is my room currently. <laughs> it's definitely a mess, but it looked a lot worse before. <laughs> so I cleaned out this uh, side table thing because it was just kind of a disaster. And I cleaned out these two drawers. So, so this drawer is where I keep all of my <laughs> electronic camera equipment and stuff all of my like cords i don't know it's still kind of messy but it's like the only place i have to keep all this stuff so that's that okay this is my skincare <laughs> cabinet and it is just a nightmare so i'm gonna go through all of that today um yeah it's pretty bad because <laughs> i also have this whole drawer that is this is empty <laughs> like i have so much skincare it's insane so that's what we're doing today we are getting there folks um it is a long process uh i actually tried to do this yesterday but i had gotten the vaccine the day before and i was not expecting to have like any side effects but all day yesterday i had the worst migraine i've ever had and i get migraines so that's probably why i got one just because like i'm prone to them already but it was really bad like i almost felt like i was gonna throw up and i tried to clean my room do all this stuff i was planning on having like a very productive day but i ended up spending like the entire day in bed um i could barely muster up the energy to do anything so um today i feel 100 percent better feels so good my head does not hurt thank goodness and i am ready to conquer the day Now it's time to go through the skincare and all of this stuff. So there's actually more over there, but um, I'm just tackling these first. There's just so, so much. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I've basically decided I do not need. Um, and my friend's coming over. We're going to have a little breakfast burrito break and go to the beach for a little bit. So I'm going to see if she wants any of this stuff. The next thing to do when I get back is the closet, which is definitely going to take the longest. Yeah, it's a big closet clean out, guys. Like, I am doing a whole wardrobe revamp 
getting rid of everything. I know it doesn't look that different, but ignore all of this in the middle because these are all my little empties. Um, I want to do like a little Instagram story to go over all of them because these are all products that I absolutely love. Use them all up and I just want to share them with everyone on my Instagram. So I'm saving these for later. Uh, these are like, you know, new products that when I run out of the old ones, I will use. So yeah, it is a little excessive, I know, but I did get rid of quite a few things and really cleaned this drawer up a lot. So yeah, I think I did pretty good. And my bedroom is looking, looking fresh and clean. I put that little rug there. It doesn't have anything under it, so I'm gonna have to get something because it's like super slidey. But now I have like three different rugs in my room. I'm kind of into the whole like mixing and matching rugs vibe, especially since I have like such a plain bedspread, but we will see. I don't know, I love her. It's breakfast burrito time. Hangover breakfast burrito time. I'm not hungover. I am. Speak for yourself. I'm hungover from my vaccine. Yeah. That's what it is. Get vaxxed. Vax and wax 21, baby. <laughs> you can't see me smiling. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it is now time to conquer the closet. So let me show you guys what we are working with. Okay, first of all, lots of stuff up there. Um, this is one half, by the way. This as like kind of a dresser inside. On top of it is where I keep all of my pants. <laughs> and as you can see, they're just piled up. It's really bad. The drawers are overflowing. So once again, just things shoved up there. All of that stuff. Shoes shoved in there too. There's no room for anything. So we are going through all of this today. I don't even know where to begin. So brand new hiking boots I got for Christmas. Obviously not getting rid of those. These boots are, ah, they're amazing. I think they're from Zara, maybe? No, I don't think so. I don't know where they're from. They're amazing, but I just, I can't. I haven't worn them in so long. My calves are too big for that, so. Okay, so I have like four pairs of cowboy boots, which is very unnecessary, so <laughs> we're gonna decide which ones I wanna keep and which ones I no longer need. We have these beige ones. These ones, which are beautiful. We love them. And we got some vintage Justins that are black. I don't need four pairs of cowboy boots. Honestly, I don't think I can bear to part with these ones. They're just, first of all, in beautiful condition. They have like a little butterfly, it's like little butterfly on the side, which is, just so cute and I like the really tall style of these ones. I don't actually know how interested you are in my explanation of every single pair of shoes that I own but I am not that interested so basically I just went through everything ended up deciding on getting rid of a lot of pairs of shoes which I think was very necessary because I actually only wear like three pairs of shoes that I own um, I'm not a big shoe gal, to be honest. I know that's weird because I feel like everyone's obsessed with shoes. I mean, I do love boots, but like, I don't know. I can live with like one or two pairs of shoes, to be honest. Then for the clothes, I already kind of had in mind a lot of the stuff that I wanted to get rid of. Um, it's pretty easy to go through my closet and look at things and notice that I haven't worn them in like years. But a few things I wanted to try on just to, you know maybe a, a couple things were maybe i wasn't entirely sure once i put them on i had kind of decided so i just kind of threw everything into a big pile and ended up getting rid of a lot of things which i am happy about and very proud of myself so this was the end result i had two giant trash bags full of clothes so many pairs of boots and shoes that i am going to sell so stay tuned on my instagram this is the closet afterwards so much more organized so much more spacious um i mean i don't even know there might still be more clothes that i can get rid of but this was like the first round kind of like the first draft you know when you write an essay um i have to go through again and get rid of more stuff but I ended up putting my pants up at the top of my closet because i had extra space 
they still won't fit in the drawers. And then I kind of did the Mary Kondo style of my drawers where I folded the things, you know, the way that she does it, which I used to do and it actually does keep everything so much more organized. So I hope that I can stick to that and keep everything looking as good as it looks in this video. Happy self-care Sunday. I have had a great morning so far. I woke up, I had myself a cup of coffee. I decided to go for a run and ended up running five and a half miles, which I was honestly really shocked about because I don't even remember the last time I ran more than like three and a half. So that was definitely like, I don't know, I just felt really good. And I think I'm gonna do a little face mask. I think I have a sheet mask. Um, that I haven't used yet. I think I'm gonna do that. I also want to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Kenzie. So I'm actually gonna go get it really quick and show you guys what it is. So this is what it looks like. It is an IPL handset. So this is basically an at-home laser hair removal. You just plug this in and you plug the other end into the device. This is a product that like if I had to make a list of like 10 products that I absolutely could not live without, this would 100% be in this list. I've been using it for a while now and I have seen amazing results. My hair, my body hair grows back so much slower, way less thick. The more times that you use this, the better the results will be. This is such an affordable way to get rid of body hair. Going to like an actual clinic and getting laser hair removal can cost upwards of like a thousand dollars. You have to keep going back. Waxing is painful and also can be expensive. And of course you have to keep going back to do that as well. So what you do is you use this after you have shaved. So I just shaved my legs, my armpits. I love to use this and just like throw on a movie, watch some YouTube videos, listen to a podcast, that kind of thing. I usually use it once a week and about two to three times over the area that I am trying to get rid of the body hair. IPL uses a broad spectrum of visible light wavelengths that works more like the beam from a torch, covering broader areas of the skin. Laser hair removal uses, an, uses actual laser technology that targets specific small controlled areas of skin. So IPL is a form of light therapy. It emits a series of different wavelengths that scatter within the skin, reaching various depths. IPL can actually be used, be used in the reduction of blemishes, pigment, wrinkles, and hair. So it's actually a very versatile technology. Most people begin to notice a reduction of hair after just three to four treatments with complete results after 12 treatments with a once a week use. But all the results, of course, vary from person to person. IPL is safe and effective and, and it doesn't hurt at all. You can barely feel it. I like to put it on the glide mode so that I can treat larger areas quicker. You can adjust the settings to suit your skin tone and sensitivity. So if you would like to try out Kenzie for yourself, I have a fun discount code for you. It is AN50 for $50 off and you can click the link in the description below. I just finished my little IPL treatment with Kenzie. My next step that I do in that little routine is moisturize because when you use the Kenzie, you need to use it without anything on your skin. But of course, after I shave my skin, it gets dry. So um, I love to just use plain old shea butter. It is amazing. Um, I've been watching Jenny's videos a lot lately. She's been putting out amazing content and also Moya, of course. I just watched her morning routine. made a protein smoothie bowl. I have been eating this for breakfast for like two weeks now. Um, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. Mm. All right, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because the rest of the day, I'm pretty much just gonna be working, editing videos, being in my room, it's really not that exciting. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to Kenzie for sponsoring this video. If you wanna try it out for yourself, which I highly recommend, uh, you can use my code AN50 for $50 off and you can click the link in the description. I am going to finish up my smoothie bowl and get to work. So I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.